guys, I'm Layla Fox. I bet you already know, but we just had update 4.30 and I'm not here to bore you to tears with some of the updates. I'm sure you've heard about it. What we're gonna chat about though is some of what they did right and some of what they possibly did horribly wrong. But on that note, who noticed in game that there's this fun promo code? So stay tuned. We're not exactly sure what this is gonna do yet. We're not sure if this is gonna be when we give you guys the gems giveaway. We're not sure if it's going to be for new sponsored streamers, for when their viewers wanna get free content. We have no idea, but give a thumbs up if you did notice this. All right, head over to update 4.30. Some of the best things we have here are the save teams and the skill instructions. The skill instructions are pretty much the AI priorities. Now what's fun about this is this means for your PVP battles like Classic Arena and Tag Team, and also for your PVE such as Dungeons and Clan Boss, you can set up specific teams. Right now, I don't believe you can really name them, but at least you can put the teams together and choose which teams you wanna take in. And then you can also prioritize their skills. So that means you can shut off some abilities that you don't want your champs using on clan boss and also prioritize how your champs behave in arena. Hello, Madam Saris. Hopefully we can fix her in there. So that's some of the stuff that happened right that people are excited about. Now, what people are kind of not really happy about right now is this clan versus clan and personal rewards. From now on, they're launching a CBC tournament with personal rewards as a separate edition of CBC tournaments. This means going forward, there's going to be standard CBC tournaments without individual rewards and some tournaments with individual rewards added. We don't have a CBC this week, so we're probably going to have to wait until next week to see what this looks like. Now, these are the parts that are a little sticky that have people kind of, and it's hizzy. There's going to be six personal reward tiers, each person's Rewards here depends on the number of points they earned in the previous CVC tournaments that had personal rewards, and there will be 10 personal milestones in each tier. Players will only be eligible to receive personal rewards if their clan wins the entire CVC matchup. So right now, people aren't too happy about that. They're feeling it means that you don't get anything extra if your team loses. So there's been a little bit of ups and downs on it. And my personal take is that we're still waiting for details. The content creators asked Playroom specifically to outline this further for us because right now in the wording, it does sound pretty terrible, but they did tell us that they're going to give us details. So I think before we all get upset, because you know, let's be real, it wouldn't be great if we weren't upset about something. So before we get really, really upset about this, let's see what they come back with. Let's see what they tell the content creators for details, and then we can talk about it a little bit more. So again, there's a bunch of stuff in update 4.30 down below in the contents. I'll make sure to link the forums. This was just a quick highlight of what people are the most excited about and what they're kind of the least excited about and happen to be angry with. Thanks for watching. Please leave some comments down below and let me know what you think of update 4.30. Do you love it overall? Do you dislike it? Is there something you would have liked to have seen? Do you disagree with the personal rewards? Do you think it's a good idea? How are you doing with the save teams and the skill instructions? Leave me some comments down below. Remember to smash that like button and I will see you live on Twitch. I can't wait to share my next video with you.